Ben. You're right today, Ben. Good evening and welcome to the Lakeway Community Stadium as Brentford B take on Working FC. It's another test against the National League opponent and it's another tough test to deal with Violet Side in a really good form at the moment. They're unbeaten since August and it's fine. We're here this evening, and people and everyone here at the Open Cup will make it in the next match. We're to be kicking from right to left. This evening, we're going to be red and white. Of course, all yellow. Three, Duncan. Four, Luke and Five, Ben Six, Luke Jones. Seven, Joe Adams. Eight, Jan Tavirik. Nine, Luke and Coops. Ten, Max Lillard. 19 Paris, Smith, Homer, and 25 Miles, Smith, Paris. The local side proceeding number one, Mark Smith, 5 John Manny, 7 Jamal Rosa, 11 Perry Johnson, 12 Nathan Collier, 15 Jack Skinner, 16 Lee Hamilton, 17 Sam Alicone, 18 Now the referee gets us underway here, straight out to the Woking trialist. Long initially by the goalkeeper. We'll run you through the Brentford team. In goal is Nathan Shepard. There's a back three of Luka Ratchich, Ben Hockenhole in the middle with Nico Jones, Val Adadokan, a left wing back, Joe Adams the other side as a right wing back. In the centre, Paris Magomo alongside Jan Zamburek. And then just in front of them is Miles Burt Harris, Max Hagarth, and of course up top is Nathan Young Coombs. Early battling there, and uh, Woking can come forward after winning possession. And it's a ball early into the box. It's well cleared by Nico Jones. As Jan Zamburek picks up the loose ball. Adedoka looks forward, Hagarth will chase. And it's a lively start this from the, the host as the ball is played out wide to Maguire Drew. Guadru down the right-hand side looks to cut in and beat Adedokan. It's an effort towards the far corner, just over Nathan Shepard's goal. It's a fast start here from the National League side. Oh, so working, almost matching up. Brentford B here in a 3-4-3 formation. Shepard goes out towards Adedokan. Flicked on by the left back and Pert Harris looks to collect. Wins himself a throw in. Working of course of the National League, 11th in the table at the moment. 
came up to the division in 2019 after securing a win in the playoff final. Alan Dowson ably assisted by Sky Sports commentator Martin Tyler. And they'll be looking for a positive result tonight. They were beaten in midweek by Bromley, 2-0. As the referee just pulls play back there. Zambura looked to get the free kick going quickly, but he's pulled it back. Young Coombs goes back to Magoma. Paris Magoma has of course been involved with some first team match day squads in recent weeks. Looking to build some more minutes for Brentford B tonight as he looks out towards Joe Adams, but he can't quite keep it in play. There's Nathan Young Coombs chases, puts the keeper under pressure and goes long. It's an area challenge for Ben Hockenall. He is unchallenged, but he manages to win it as Adams hooks forward. Once again, long Joe Adams will challenge. Going up against Tyree Johnson. He's done well to go back to his goalkeeper. Nathan Shepherd, of course, who's going away with Wales under 21s during the international break, alongside Finn Stevens and Joe Adams. As the ball's hooked out towards Var Adadokan. Adadokan looks wide for Miles Pert Harris. Also, another opportunity for Miles Pert Harris to build some more minutes. With Brentford B, he played in the cup game recently against St Pantalimon. He has gone down there after. An initial knock, but Brentford B will play on. So Goma finds Hagar. That's a bit of possession here for Brentford B. It's picked up by Woking, and once again they'll go long. Nico Jones, plenty of time, takes the ball out of the sky, really well controlled as he goes forward to Magoma. Now Pert Harris, a bit of space here for Pert Harris, who looks to come forwards. And he's dispossessed there. Ben Thompson, Sommers challenging, wins the ball back. So as we said before, Brentford are on a really good run at the moment. They've picked up wins over National League size like Barnet of late, all the way back to Eastley, a win down there towards the south coast. Zambura looks to come forward. Looks an issue for Hagarth, but it will be over hit. And we'll have a woking goal kick. It's good to see fans here this evening. Let's a few Brentford fans who have travelled to Surrey to see the game. Cheer on the next generation. Once again high, Ben Hockenall challenges over his head. He picked up by a working player there, but Luka Ratchets just takes no chances and clears out for a throw-in. Brentford B come to the match after those two cup wins. Another corner for Woking. Those cup wins over Fisher FC and St Pantalimon. Good performances against two, two very tough sides. Men's sides once again. As the ball comes in for Woking, straight on top of Nathan Shepherd. He does punch to clear. A good connection, Nathan Shepard and Adadok and collects the loose ball. He looks forward to Hagarth, but working will collect. He's back to the working trialist. And lots of time for Nico Jones.
Bob looks forward into Nathan Young Coombs. Excuse the loud fireworks this evening. Of course, it is bonfire night. Adedoka now to Pert Harris. Delicate ball there towards Max Hagarth, and it was just over his head. Max Hagarth, who got his first goal for Brentford B last week. First Brentford B goal of the season. comes across the working back line. Nathan Collier look forward. Now the trialist. It's good interplay here from Woking. Kane Thompson Sommers goes across. Well, that's a good flick there by Woking. Player down there challenging alongside Joe Adams. Good defending by Joe Adams. And we'll have a Woking corner. Outside the box, working, looking for another angle. And it comes across. Zambaro does head away. So I look, look to shoot from distance there, but it's good defended by Nathan Young Coombs. More space for Val Adadokan. He checks back for Zambaro. back to Hockenhall. Of course, Brentford B playing this back three once again. Well, that's Nico Jones, Ben Hockenhall. Getting lots of minutes at the moment. It seems to be forming a great partnership. Luka Ratchich obviously coming in this evening. Tristan Cram has been in there, as has Jude Russell in recent weeks. Brentford B with nine substitutes this evening. I'm sure they will be pushing for minutes. Plenty of options for Neil McFarlane to make changes should he wish. This work could come down the left. Looks trick into the box, but it's good defending. Max Hagarth helping out Joe Adams. And he's managed to beat Joe Adams here. Player darts into the box with really good defending by Luka Ratchic. Young Coombs holds it on the edge of his box. Now Zamburek. And for B, look to come forward. Young Coombs will look for Hagarth in behind. I think he'd just be too much on it. it good idea from Young Coombs. Hagarth not quite had the legs to get there. Another long ball forward. It's well marshalled out by Joe Adams. Once again, we can welcome uh, Brentford B technical lead Alan Steele to the game. Alan, welcome. Thank you, Ben. How are you? Really well, thanks. How are you? I'm all right, thank you. First 10 minutes, what have you made of it? Do you know what? Really interesting. Um, uh, I'm actually uh, see how deep actually kind of woke and try and pick up the ball. Um, obviously, interesting here now in possession, trying to play, but actually not afraid just to try and play something slightly longer and play in our half. I've actually been really impressed the way they, they pick the ball up. Um, it'll be a good test for us because they're almost able to do both sides of the game well. Certainly lots of uh, action down the wings at the moment. It looks like Val and Joe will be important tonight defensively and going forward. Yeah, it's interesting that both formations obviously are very similar in the fact that playing three across the back and wing backs, and you can see now, now, now where Val and Joe are. It leaves quite a big gap then for, for Miles and the midfielders to cover across. So if they do slip into a kind of a 5 4 1, they can cover that space easier, but then it leaves gaps in here. If they stay more as a um, three up front and obviously the gaps in the midfield become really wide so um, I think yeah that, that, that for me is key for both teams actually if you look, look in those wide areas 1v1 I'll be interested to see who wins that battle the long clearance there Nathan Shepard did did look uh, almost as if it was going over his head but he did manage to adjust and thankfully that was well wide he does that with us he just likes to play to the camera <laughs> another test against the National League side how did this, this fixture come about so 
um, quite lucky actually. We've got a really good relationship with Woking, um, and, and Alan Dowson, the manager for, for a number of years, and a number of the staff actually have been good contacts with um, our staff. Um, but actually, mo more recently, um, contact between uh, Martin, Tyler, and Phil. Giles, our director, um, and they've been obviously in, in contact with the, the first team now in the, in the Premier League. And yeah, we just try to build that and, and create a strong relationship between the two clubs. It's a great stadium to come play, isn't it? It's class, to be fair, especially with I know, the direction of the camera looking now. You could think you're in the Championship, turn around and yeah, maybe not so much, but uh, look, it's a brilliant place to play football, and this is what we want for our boys. As Paris McGover finds Max Hagar, edge of the box, Joe Adams looks to put it across, and it'll be corner for Brentford B, there's a good bit of movement there. Paris McGovern are really kind of dictating things. Yeah, he's a class act, he really is. I think I'd be interested if you're going to watch someone tonight, he's, he's one I'd keep an eye on. The way he picks up space, and, and it'd be interesting in midfield to say if we keep our, so we're obviously playing similar formation, but our two kind of holding midfielders, then we've got two midfielders higher, almost playing in the box. So if we can isolate their three, because they're playing more of a two holders than one in the ten, we can get four through three in central areas, Paris can shine tonight. It's a ball in from Max Hager after Nathan Young Coos was at the front post but couldn't quite direct it goalwards but possession is recycled with Magoma. Looks towards the far post of Kurt Harris but the keeper does come out to collect pretty comfortably. Go watch your reactions here from the boys in yellow. Just watch the way the boys sprint back. Ben Hockenhol centre of the pitch at the moment. He's got to get back in as well. Good lad. Really, really good defending there from Paris Magoma. Delayed and then won the ball back. It's one thing, work rate, the likes of Neil and Sam and yourself, we certainly don't let the boys shirk their duties. No, definitely, and I think if you, you add to that, you know, the work Perds and Matt and the sports scientists as well with, with Paolo now and Stella and the medical team, you know, these guys are, are stronger than ever, more robust than ever, they can do these things across 90 minutes. You can just see here now where Miles is picking up that space out wide, that and, and where Val is, he's able to pin back their full back, and that gives Miles a space in front. So it'll be interesting there. Unfortunately, a bit of a loose one, but actually that will be really key when we've got good possession. As I mentioned, more, more game time for Miles Per Harris at Brentford B. He came so close to getting on the score sheet last week in the cup. He'll be hoping for another good positive performance. Yeah, he's been class as well. I know he's he's trained up constantly with the first team and obviously involved with us tonight but yeah amazing lad and has worked extremely hard be very pleased to see when he does get that goal of course recently turned 19 miles per Harris still very young lots of years to come for him yeah and you look at the talent he's got and the games he's played the environments he's played in, and I know we speak often about you know his experiences previously at Chelsea but you know things like this are a good, great test for him because it's not only testing him his temperament his character but also him to come down here tonight and be the best player on the pitch because you know we re expect even at a young age him to be able to do that as Hockenhole looks out to Luka Racic this is again this space here you see where Miles is now just outside there too picking up those pockets yeah and you see Max is obviously holding their, their centre backs in Joe gets to hold back their full back and that gives mm. Paris that space as well. Yeah, if we contain them and then are able to maintain possession, we should be able to play through midfield. Their, um, their front three are actually dropping more, let's say in midfield. You've got two holders there, then they've got their lad playing in the ten. And then the two forwards, well, the two forwards will start to get narrower at times. And that will mean we can go on the outside. And as the 10 drops in, the space will definitely be outside of those two. It's a really good ball there from Nathan Young Coons, hooks it out to Joe Adams. Adams looks to put it towards the box, but it's a low effort. It's cleared away by Woking. You mentioned Joe Adams, mentioned the, the Wales under-21s, Alan. Obviously good to see more call-ups for our B-team players. Yeah, it's brilliant. Um, I don't know there's two of them playing out there tonight, Nathan and Joe, but Finn as well, and uh, they've been fantastic and chuffed a bit. So I know that um, I speak to Paul Bowden often, and he's a, he's a big fan of what the club do in general. But I think the boys have been a credit to to the club and to themselves every time they've gone up and represented themselves at, at Welsh under 21 level. The news obviously came out today. Daniel Oyegoke, part of the under 19 squad, as is Matt Cox as well. And, Certainly make our name for sale, name for ourselves in terms of the international call-ups. We've had Val involved recent weeks, Alex Gilbert obviously is, is normally with the, the 21s for Ireland. Yeah, I think Alex is one is you know, really interesting to see what happens to him in the coming weeks. I know he's got some big games with, 
with Swindon, so good luck to him. Um, the other lads, really, and I think testament to the, the work that the lads have done. As Woking come forward, look to trick the way into the box past Luka Ratchic, Ben Hockenhall once again there. He's had a really, really good start to the season, Ben Hockenhall. He's managed to get consistent minutes where he perhaps couldn't get them last season. He seems to have really settled and is a bit of a leader in that back three. Uh, really well intercepted by Vard Adokan. It's for Young Coombs. Young Coombs has actually lost his boot, but he does continue. And he's won himself a free kick as well. Yeah, I think the, going back to the internationals, I think it's testament really the, the, not only the, the recruitment and you know, Lee and his team, Chris and Alistair and all the guys really involved, um, but also the ability now to, to bring in those players, top, top level players. Um, and they want to come and join us, but they want to be in this environment too. They can see a pathway, they can see the atmosphere that's created by Neil and, and, and Sam, but also you know, having Stephen involved and the work he can do on an individual basis to really push these players on. Um, yeah, lo lots of boys now want to be a part of this. Fucking hole looks forward, but it is over hit for Adadokan. Mentioned Stephen Presley, obviously, he's had that mixture between the, the first team and the B team. Settled well into the group, obviously, he knows Neil from, from previous clubs. Yeah, interesting enough, I, I, my personal relationship with him up built up um, when Kenny's Carroll went out on loan to Carlisle. Uh, Stephen was manager there, so um, yeah, there's a few of us. Obviously, he's got a great relationship with a number of the staff already, um, but he's been brilliant and um, settled in really well. Um, and obviously, I know he speaks very highly of, uh, and spends a lot of time with Aaron too, so he's got great eyes on him over at Wimbledon. That's another one, Aaron Presley, Jack Watson, of course, on loan and both away international in the next week or so. Yeah, amazingly proud of these boys, and you look at them and, and their stature, and you know, not only in this group, um, they're all competing now and challenging for, for good clubs, good teams, and you know, I've been really proud. Someone like Yako going out and playing the minutes and the time he has. Um, He's done great, and, and yeah, good luck to him in his next couple of weeks. Best of luck to Yako. They got Dunfermline tomorrow in the Scottish Championship. It's FA Cup in England as well. The likes of Alex, Aaron will look to be involved as Magoma comes forward. Yeah, no, chuffed a bits with the boys in the games this weekend. I know Aaron obviously in his call up to Scotland 21s is well deserved as well definitely pick up on the smoke here from all the fireworks around us it's a lovely little backdrop actually just over that stand I know Dan can't pan round to it but see the fireworks just going off above the stand it looks brilliant as the trial is working let's get forward but he has this just miscued Throw for Brentford B. Sam Burr at challenges. Good luck, Sam. It's forward. Hagar looks to find Joe Adams just about. Working player sliding in there, but there's a Brentford throwing. Brentford once again all in yellow. Haven't worn red and white too many times this season, obviously always on the road. Yeah, it's been nice to be honest. I mean, this, this game tonight's brilliant. And just looking at the crowd over the other side, I know I speak to the staff beforehand, they sold a number of tickets before, and a lot of interest on the night as well. And um, I think this type of game gives us a different type of atmosphere for the boys. And, those game, games at the training ground and our home games are great and great exercises, but tonight gives a little di different little edge. So, yeah, n n nice to see him out in the yellow kit. As Paris Magoma picks it up in that deep position in midfield, looks to dictate things for Brentford B. Yanzan Burek plays slightly deeper, Yanzan Burek, to what we're used to seeing him. He's got that technical ability, hasn't he? Jan's a talent, he really is. Um, I think that's one of the things when we first saw him, the way he could play and, and um, yeah, the first time we kind of met him really, looked at him and you see him technically when he was 17, the way he can pick up space. And you, uh, one thing I watch with Jan, if you do watch a game, keep an eye on Jan's head, whole time it's moving. I think he's class he's act. Val, the Duke and the, it's the first time Val's really kind of beat his man and it's a dangerous looking cross, but 
just evaded the I think Nathan Young Coombs in the box there. Yeah, he's good at that value. I know he plays for the Ireland team, he plays left wing as well, so you, you can do it both ways. Yeah, he's really useful, isn't he, in terms of that. He's played as kind of part of a, a front three and wing back today. He's kind of very versatile up and down that, that left wing. Yeah, physically great as well. He's uh, one of those players who come into us who's uh, you know, got that kind of X factor um, from a physical point of view. Um, it'll be interesting to see how he gets on later in the game because I know that um, the trialist playing here on this side for Woking, I think uh, Val fitness-wise and, and ability-wise, I think hopefully as the game goes on, he'll be able to show his class. How's Val kind of settled into the group? He's obviously uh, one, of the, one of the newcomers this summer. As Woking looks to come forward, and Adadoka just manages to get ahead of the Woking player and pass back to Nathan Shepard. You know, Val's an interesting lad, actually. He's, um, coming across from Ireland, it's, it's tough, and I know his, his family hopefully at home watching this evening. Um, but, you know, a real tight-knit group and, and the same with any of the boys who come across, really. You know, a lot of care, time and attention goes into making sure they settle in. But he's actually settled in incredibly quick. Um, he's had a couple of trips back home um, with the national team. And I think in a way that kind of uh, helps as well at this part of the season because you get it breaks it up. But also the way the boys have integrated him into the group um, has been brilliant. So, yeah, chuffed a bit for him. Um, but yeah, good player, a lot to come from him. Let's see if he can react and get back in here. Nico Jones with a bit of defending to do as working looks to drive forward. And it's a low effort there. It was uh, Maguire Drew who cut him on Nico Jones, shot with his left foot, but relatively comfortable save for Nathan Shepard there. Yeah, solid from Nathan, expect him there. No issues. It's been interesting now, the game just coming to this point now, I think, where we will probably start to take control. Let's hope that person is not playing. It's not your Citroen, is it, Alan? <laughs> uh, it's in Max Hagar cuts into the box. Miles Per Harris, really good effort. Hagar pulled the ball back to Per Harris. It's a shot first time towards the near post, but it's a really smart save there from Mark Smith in the Woking goal. Kind of the best chance of the half so far for Brentford B. Yeah, well worked, good goal, good chance that. Max Hagar so tricky when he gets into those positions, isn't it? Yeah, he's a good player. I actually missed a little bit if I was looking for my car keys. <laughs> Cut inside from the right. He looks to isolate defenders and, and go past people. Interesting corner this one. Very interesting. See if they can deal with it. Straight on the goalkeeper. Ben Hockenhall coming around to the back post. He challenges. Yeah, well read from the defender. He came out yeah. with, with Ben. Obviously, Ben tried to peel out. It was interesting, that one. So, you know, Ben Hockenhall getting some really good minutes so far this season. Exactly what he needs, I guess. Yeah, I think kind of that, for me, is almost like a, a really, really good example of what uh, you know, a player does with us. They come in, spend a bit of time learning the environment, getting used to what, what the coaches want of them and then start to shine in that second year. It's not, not easy for these lads because like we speak about Val and any of these boys coming from a, from a different part of the world. Um, no matter where these guys are coming from, he's got great feet, this lad, by the way. It's a really good ball there, forward. And he is offside. I think it's Maguire Drew going through on goal. It's a really good ball forward through the middle. But he is offside. Really good footwork in the middle of the park. Number 17, Tarim Alarakia. It's Ratchic. Looks for Young Coombs oh, wow. in behind. Brave work there from Nathan Young Coombs. The keeper rushed out and managed to get something on it. Yeah, it's a little bit naughty, though. Just gave Nathan a little push into the keeper. More good feet from Woking in midfield. Yeah, he's done well with 17. I know he picked up, picked up a few good positions and, and got on the ball early, actually, in the game, um, combined with the, the right wing back. Um, but he's done well, he's impressed us so far. Going back to Ben Hockenhall, there's a really interesting piece with him in the match day programme tomorrow for the first team game against Norwich. Be sure to pick one up. Talks about how he settled in in his first season and he had a really good chat with Neil McFarlane and Sam Saunders at the start of the season and really set some goals and 
seems to have really kind of settled in and really progressed his game. I think Ben's a really good example of someone who's um, taken the time and followed the process to actually improve. Um, it's not something that happens overnight, and, and for a lot of the boys, you know, he's come from a massive club, and, and the, the, he puts huge expectations on himself. But actually, he's done everything right. You know, the time, effort, the energy he's put into it, and I think you're seeing that now. And, and this season's been well, the best I've seen for, for a long, long time from him. It's another Woking corner into the box. Hock and Hall oh, challenges. No. There's a bit of a scramble in the box. Somehow manages to stay out, and it is put in. Uh, there's no flag for offside and it has been put in at the far post. There was a real scramble in the box. Can't quite see who got the final touch in the end. The corner wasn't really there with Hockenheim was challenging in there. As they had a scramble, it looked like Nathan Yokoos was going to get it away. But... No, I've just watched the replay there. He definitely wasn't offside. He's, he's actually stood behind the ball when it's played across. Um, no, it's a tough one really, I think they had an opportunity to take it and clear it, not, but I think this is this is part of the game now and this is why we want to do these games. And I don't want to come away and say we've lost the game from a set piece, but actually the boys will take so much from this. They won't take it from this moment now, obviously they'll they, they have to pick it up afterwards, but again, playing a team like this, it's an even game, if anything you're probably slightly edging it, yet a set piece has now put us backwards. They have to come from behind if they want to keep up this unbeaten run. As the ball's forward to Mars Pert Harris. Adadoken looks at Pert Harris again, but it's blocked by the trialist. It's forward now. Just over hit there. Nathan Shepard collects. Another 30 minutes gone here at the Lafayette Community Stadium. Again, boys need to be patient, they'll be fine. They'll build themselves back into this game. Again, you're looking midfield now. We can outnumber them here. I see Nathan just dropping in, Max has gone more inside, but we will get these opportunities. Again, space out wide with their front three. Nico's probably the ball out here. Certainly sticks their principles, won't they? And the messages from Neil and Sam on the touchline. Completely, completely. You know, uh, again, uh, Ben's just trying to force that one through. But uh, same thing, same way. You know, continues to play, continues to drive, continues to work out of possession. Battling These guys will be all right. Magoma uh, just pulls back the working player there. A little clever one, I think. Probably going to have to get booked. But. Instead of going off for Paris, the, the player gone straight past him and he's tugged his shirt. Yeah, one thing you don't want to do now, this, this kind of three, four, five minute period after the after their goal, is give them any more momentum, give them, mm. let, just, just slow it down again now. Hopefully deal with this set piece, this is key. Woken, well, of course, who don't have a game this weekend after exiting the uh, FA Cup. Jordan Maguire drew to take the free kick. Uh, it's chipped him. And Shepard's quickly off his line. He read that very well. Quite a well worked set piece there from Woking. Shadow Doka doesn't take any chances and clears his lines. Guadru down the right. He's got Adadoken. Really, really good defending there from the young left back. Good. Just keep it simple in this space now. Nothing comes into the box. Three v two over here. Now this could be a problem. Thompson Summers comes across. Done well. Okay, Joe Adams. A bit of defending to do. Oh, on that far side, he's done really well, Joe Adams. Okay. Himself thrown. 
good. I think that's key. They throw in this side, play it around. Don't get the ball come in, get and play it around. All of a sudden, they've not even come into our penalty box. That's good. One thing I noticed when the game started, actually, that first five, five, ten minutes, the, the noise that the, the working players kind of play the game, They're constantly talking, constantly communicating. Again, it's another thing where the lads pick up from. You know, they're just as loud, but I think they can learn so much in this type of game. Now Magoma goes back towards Ben Hockenhall, who looked to come forward. Really good, oh. a good forward ball there towards Young Coos, but did just miss him. Hockenhall's got some defending to do now as he runs back. I think it's up, up against Loza. Oh. And it's another goal. And I think it's Jamal Loza. Straight ball over the top. Managed to get in behind Brentford B back line and make it 2-0. That's exactly what Brentford B didn't want. Was it Alan? They wanted to kind of get themselves a bit more of a foothold in the game, but they've conceded that second as uphill task now. Yeah, you're right. Uh, that was, do you know, it was a shame because Ben's ball forward actually is not far off at all. He's played that kind of straight one, slight angle on it into into the forward, just just missed it. And I think the, if the defender's looking to play that pass, then it's class. But I think he's just trying to clear it, and, and, and unfortunately just caught the boys out of place. And centre forwards kind of gambled, and therefore Ben's stepping forward as he's. Uh, as, as the lad's trying to go behind him, he's always going to be two yards in front. So, yeah, look, good finish, good goal, but slightly unlucky from the lads. This next bit now for me, bit of confidence. Make sure they continue to do things that they, that they can do well. Don't don't do anything now. Steady until half time. Try and get yourself back in the game. There you go. Find Zamburic on the right hand side. Zamburic comes into the box. It's a really good looking cross, but it is over here for Adadoka at the back post. It's a good bit of movement there from Brentford B. You don't want to try and rush into it, back into this game, do you? No. The, the, again, talk about that momentum now. OK, one brings two, fair play to them. Now it's just keeping it there. Seeing what we can do up until half-time, give Neil a chance to speak to him again. We've got ten minutes. Now, this next ten minutes is key. These boys are you know, good young players and I think they'll continue to stick to it. Stick to their style, they'll be all right. And Magoma finds Zamburic. Let's bring it out to this right-hand side of Joe Adams. Oh, you're welcome. That's a really, really good flick from Hager after Luka Ratchet. John Coombs is down in the box. Challenging Again. with the defender. Clever bit of defending, just stepped across him. Didn't allow him to come through. That's a really good play there, flick from Hager after Luka Ratchet following his pass. Yeah, I think the, the speed, of that, that's going to be key now. We'll continue to play with that type of speed, intensity and tempo. Good support Ben here. Up against Loza again. And he's picked up a loose ball by Woking. He will try and make the most of his counter attack, but it is delayed. Harder. Done well there, passing going with Joe Adams between them. Magoma looks to get things going again. Good, speed on the ball, keep it moving. That's it. Go, go through. Now it open. Finds Bert Harris once again. Bert Harris does just check back. Too many options for Anadokan, but he does choose Zamburic. Per Harris into Hagar. This is where Brentford B want the ball, especially Max Hagar. Finds Zamburic. Now Per Harris out wide to Anadokan. Look for a low cross, but it's initially charged down. Good, slow this down. That's good. Really, really good challenge there from Nico Jones. Brentford B with a disparate once again. Max Hagar after Cause of the foul and Brentford B will look to just fill back into their shape. I think this is where working to be clever. Obviously, you heard Neil shout and press then. This is one of our main strengths. But a lot of time, Mark Smith and Go, I know he's shanked that one, but they just try and bypass it, take us out of the game and actually take away one of our strengths. There's McGo in the middle of the park looking to protect the ball. He's done really well. The reaction, Paris. 
flies into the tackle, does really well, and he's done played down the left-hand side. So he's right in the thick of it, Paris McGovern. And now Adadokan, a low cross towards Max Hagarth. First touch just let him down as working managed to clear. Everybody looking to sustain this attack. Yeah, this is it now. Good really 60 good seconds period. pressure. Keep going. Now Zamburek on the edge of the box. He goes out to Joe Adams. Not see Adams too much in this position so far. Really good flick from Adams for Ratchich. Ratchich now comes into the box. Looks to beat his man, but it's well defended by Woking. Once again, they hook it forward. And Hocken Alder take any chances. No, it's clever. Just get it out of the way. Take time. Now they're to get back in. And about seven or so minutes in this first half. It's 2 0 to the home side. Communication earlier. Good. Nathan Shepard leading that, telling his team to get up. Yeah, no, excellent. Just it's a bouncing ball there. Look at has got some defending to do. We're aware of that line there. Not stepping up together, mm -hmm. unfortunately. We can come in the box. It's away first time by Hockenhall. Collected by Alarakia. Ball into the box. And it's offside there. Got some very dangerous players working. Yeah, they've done well, to be fair. I know, see the guys' equipment from their point of view as well. I know they're competing well at their level too at the moment. With the, uh, the recent investment in the club and moving to a full time model as well, I think it gives them a chance to even compete in that league now. And I know there's some riches down in the, in the National League, but give them a real chance to, to try and, and, and see if they can get out of that league in the coming years. Good luck to them. Brings the ball forward once again. He looked out to Adadokan. Well headed away there by the working trialist. Oh no, three mile. Might have lost that there. <laughs> Jumped over the fence. There he is. He's back, he's back. It's a do of a multi ball system. Adadokan finds Zan Jan Zamburek. Now to Haygarth. Knocked forward by Joe Adams for Paris Magoma. Seems to be everywhere, Paris Magoma at the moment. He's found Max Haygarth in the box. Here he's he's cut it back for Paris Magoma. Really, really good feet. Oh, and he looked, he teed it off for Nathan Young Coombs, but working defender just managed to get there in the nick of time. That's good. It got heavily influenced by Paris, got a lot of time for that. He's, um, yeah, just, just took that last 30 seconds by the scruff, and that's probably what he needs to do now a little bit more. This ball found Jan Zamburek. Now Miles Per Harris. Looks for Max Hagar, but Louis Annesley, who's flown out and cleared for Woking. It will be a Brentford B free kick. Okay, clip for Woking, I'd say just slow it down. That's another thing that the team can learn from, I suppose. Yeah, it's like. Yeah. Really good touch of Alan Logan, he's beaten his man. Oh. I think he's actually been pulled back for offside there, but it's a really good movement from the young fullback. Yeah, well, I'd like to see that again. I mean, that was tight, but that was a great touch. I think that's what you know, say 1v1 out here, that's what Val can do in those attacking areas. He's got such an electric pace, hasn't he? Yeah, you see from the touch, I know. Offside, I was, I'm going to check that, I'm not sure. But... Miles, onside. Yeah, well onside. Alfie Sparks, the Brentford analyst, confirms that Val was onside there. Brentford will look to go again. It's a foul there by Joe Adams on the far side. Working player did look to go past him, but brought down by the right full wing back. Good. Working away with that last few minutes well. Like I say, that free kick slowing it down. Well, the offside's helped, but. Really good from Luka Ratic. Wins back possession, he drives forward. He's found Max Hagarth. 
on the right hand side who looked to be his man. He's actually pulled him back from a game on the edge of the box. Will he look to shoot? Oh, he's looked to thread it towards Young Coombs. And Miles Bell Harris with the first time effort, but it's blocked by the working defender. Look at that reaction, look at the reaction. Go on, go on, keep going. It's 30, 40, 50 yards, he's just chewed up there. Get back in. That's exactly what you want to see from Miles Bell Harris. Really, really good work rate. There's a low effort there. I think it was Loza with the effort and pushed away by Nathan Shepard. The tricky one that for Nathan because it's just dipped and bounced in front of him, so he's got to be really aware. Um, brilliant from Harris and Miles Park. Harris, I know, look, you give the ball away, it doesn't matter however it comes out, but look at the reaction there, the first one's back, so yeah, a lot of time for that. King corner, really, really good punch from Nathan Shepard. Well, we'll to put the ball back into the air. It's a really good cross, but well headed away by Ben Hockenhall. Comes to a work at the edge of the box, but it is wayward. Good, that's better. That's better just to deal with that one. That's tough. Good from Nathan. Come out. Take control of that. couple of minutes left in this first half. The home side do lead 2-0. Doesn't really quite tell the story of the game though. It was probably a bit disappointed by how the goals came about, but we've seen lots of the ball and some good moments. What's going to be the team talk at half-time, Alan? I think at this point, though, the lessons to be learned, definitely. And I think take the bigger picture approach on it to start off with. Uh, the message to the boys before the game was, you know, to, for them to understand the type of team we were playing. So go into it with a plan, you know, not 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 to get too caught up in the finer details to start off with. But I think the lads knew what they were going to face. Oh, yeah, and Zamburek finds Young Coombs. Young Coombs get just about to try to get out of his feet, but he is fouled there. He looked to shoot, but he's been tripped right on the edge of the box. Yeah, they conceded two goals, one from a set piece and one from a counter attack, and they would have been warned about that beforehand. So it's a shame. But big picture stuff, we can learn from it. The, the, the little bits here now, I think speed of play will be one. I think using the, you know, the, their numerical advantage in midfield, if they get Max maybe to drop slightly more inside, um, try and use Joe, whether he needs to stay wide and pin the full back or, or whether or not he can start to you know, make his run inside and deeper to take the centre back deeper to give Max that space. I think maybe uh, looking at be a bit more patient playing the ball mid through midfield but uh, overall at the moment um, and hopefully a positive outcome from this one we're only chasing down a one, one goal lead going into the second half so, so free kick right on the edge of the box it's quite a difficult one to get the ball up and over the wall it looks like it's going to be Nathan Young Coombs it's a really good effort unfortunate for Nathan because it's just over as the referee blows for half time and we'll pause at the break with Woking 2 
I'm back live, right? Lights on. Welcome back for the second half. Uh, it's Woking 2, Brentford B0. The Bees have made a change at half time. Daniel Ugoke has come on and Ben Hockenhall has gone off. Firework goes off overhead. Brentford be looking to get back into this game. They brought on Daniel Oyegoke, of course. Today the news came out he was uh, gained another England youth call up. And we'll head off to Sweden with the England under 19s. Three qualifiers as they look to qualify for next season's European Championships. Now Ratchet, out to Oyagoke. Oyagoke, of course, on the bench. For Thomas Frank's first team in the Carabao Cup against Stoke City. And a good experience, one of our young players. Summer recruit from Arsenal. He looks across to Luka Racic. Racic has stepped forward quite often in this match. Another couple of fireworks go off overhead. And the ball looks forward, but well covered by Nico Jones, and it runs through to Nathan Shepard. Once again. Thank you all for watching at home. The support is always appreciated. Nico Jones on the far side comes inside to Miles Blood Harris. He has miscued and Woking have picked up a loose ball. And they've looked to get Maguire Drew down the right hand side. That's ah, another goal. Went for B caught in possession. The ball was crossed in by Maguire Drew and headed in. Side lead, National League side lead 3 0. That's not the hot the start Brentford B would have wanted for this first, second half. Goal came from the working trialist. And the Woken trial is loose ball for Adadoka to pick up. He drives forward Adadoka, really, really good run. Looks for Haygarth, manages to slide it out to Joe Adams on the right hand side. Adams with the low cross, but it's well cleared away by Woking. Luka Ratchet with a loose pass now. Maguire Drews managed to win the ball back. Bit of a one on one, but you've got Brentford players rushing back. Thankfully, the loose ball from Maguire Drew was picked up by Ratchet. There you go, he looks out to Nico Jones. Per Harris has fouled, we'll have a Brentford B free kick in a good position. Chance to put the ball into the box. comes in from Max Hagar but headed away by Woking. Going to finds Ratchich. Oyogoki on the overlap. 
It's a good cross by Goke. Young Coons flicks towards the far post, but he is offside. Can go forward with the goalkeeper. Now Zamburic finds out a token. looks like he's picked up a knocker on that far side. This is some discomfort. looking some pain out there. Going to be temporarily with uh, 10 men to so just get a bit of treatment, see if he can continue. As we go, case force back. Nice and calm play there, heads back to Nathan Shepard. Both of do have Lewis Gordon on the substitute bench if they don't want to risk Adadokan any longer. Looks like they will be forced into that change. Per Harris looks forward for Hagar, but really good defender from Woken. Woken man just managed to get ahead of Hagar before he could bring it under control and look to shoot. So Woken looks to charge forward. Shepard, now Zamburik. Zamburik. Fine Young Coons look to flick it for Per Harris, but they weren't quite on the same wavelength. Young Coons will chase, looking to get the ball back. One thing he'll always give you is work rate. Gordon now comes onto the field in place of Varada Doken. Lewis Gordon, of course, had much of pre season with Thomas Frank's first team. He got some game time. Ever reliable at left back, Lewis Gordon. Consistent player for Bradley and McFarlane. Very reliable. forward into the right-hand channel for Maguire, Drew to chase, Ratchich is with him, he goes back to Shepard, Shepard hooks it towards the left flank and Ratchich will collect, really good play from Luka Ratchich, Jones looks forward but the ball is out of play. Farland urges his side up, urges his side forward. A long ball to the right hand side. Lewis Gordon with the header, 1 1. Pat Harris picks it up. A 
Now Zamburic. Just look for Lewis Gordon, but he is over here. Lewis Gordon will continue to chase though. Working player looks to just sh shepherd it out of play. He's done well there. the goal kick. One by Nico Jones. Now Zamburic. But Harris will collect. To loft the ball forward for Young Coombs to chase. Young Coombs just puts the keeper under a bit of pressure. He will just go out of play on the right hand side. from Zamburic, looks for Hagar, just dispossessed. <laughs> Number of Brentford B players on the far side getting ready to come on. Sean Neil McFarlane and Sam Saunders look to make the change they normally do around the hour mark. Brentford B look for a way back into this game. It's going to be tough. Oyegoko drives forwards. Comes across to Nico Jones. Now Paris Magoma finds Lewis Gordon down the left hand channel. Really good pass. Gordon looked for the first time cross, but it's blocked behind for a corner. Brentford B changes very shortly. There's players tumbling in the box as Nathan Young Coombs ends up in the in the net, challenging alongside one of the Woking trialists. in from Hagar, plenty of bodies in there, Nico Jones with the header, appeals for a handball, referee waves away those claims. Now where you go, okay, looks to the right channel for Hagar, can they give and go, Hagar just checks back, finds Magoma, Magoma, now Zamburek. Oh, you go okay for support. Now Hagarth, bit of space to work. Found Zamburg, really good play from Brentford B. Zamburg cuts in, almost fell for Hagarth. Per Harris was involved, but Woking managed to squirrel the ball away and look to counter. And that's fantastic keeping for Nathan Shepard. He's off his line quickly. Retrieves possession and sets Joe Adams away. Really good ball, looking ball out to Lewis Gordon. It's fallen Carney for Pert Harris. Pert Harris working a bit of space. Now Zamburek. Now Joe Adams. First time ball from Adams. Really good ball. Look for Pert Harris, but it's headed away. Now Magoma. 
drives into the box. One two for Harrison. Went for goal, Magoma. There's a really, really good sliding challenge from the working defender. Took the ball over. Have another Brentford B corner. Really good spell this from Brentford B. They certainly had spells in this game, but not been able to find the goal. Be still waiting to make those subs. There you go, now Magoma. Out to Joe Adams, but it's miscued by Adams and he knocks it over Hagarth's head. As the referee now allows substitutions to be made. Working going to make one, it's going to be five for Brentford B. Here come the changes. As Luka Ratic departs, as does Joe Adams, Jan Zamburek, Max Hagarth. And also Miles Pert Harris. In place of Tristan Kramer. Drew Russell is coming on, Dom Jeffries, uh, Roy Siller and of course Lachlan Brook as well. Dom Jeffries has had some really, really good recent weeks of Brentford B. Finding the net, he found the net in real style against Fisher. Lachlan Brook who's recently returned to Brentford to be on his travels and international duty with Australia under 23s. Help them to progression to the under 23 Asian Cup next year. The young Australian was out in Dubai for a training camp before two matches against Indonesia under 23s. They managed to progress. Kramer having to be careful there. Nathan Young Coons quickly off his line to clear as Kramer's header back to Shepard. Just under hit, but Shepard had to be very quick. Managed to clear. Let's come forward, Jeffries. Now we're going, we're going to drive it forwards. Managed to hold on to possession. It's out to Lachlan Brook. Lachlan Brook will look to shoot with his left foot. Really good effort from Lachlan Brook. And the keeper manages to parry away. It's one thing Lachlan Brook will give you. If he gets half a yard, he'll go onto that left foot and try his luck. And Silla puts the ball in. Roy Silla, of course, a recent Brentford B signing after a trial period. A 21-year-old came through at Barnet before agreeing to join Neil McFarlane's side. That's Jones' challenges. Russell, of course, in his first year with Brentford B2. Kramer, now Silla. Silla look for Brook, but it's just over here. Brook will chase. It's a miss kick by the goalkeeper, but it's managed to square his way through towards Kramer. Kramer does collect. The Frenchman got his first Brentford B goal against Fisher just a few weeks back. Gordon goes back to Russell. Now Lachlan Brook. Looks to switch for the run of Dom Jeffries. Done really well. Good ball there. Jeffries just nods the ball back to Lewis Gordon. It's back with Silla. Now Magoma. Magoma looked to drive into the box, but it's a crowd of working bodies. But Dom Jeffries has managed to 
battle away. And he's won himself a throw in really good work there between Ngoma and Jeffries. Working very much looking to play on the counter attack at the moment. I know Brentford B will dominate a lot of the ball. Jones and the balls of Magoma finds Gordon. Lost the ball, working, uh, looking to break on the right hand side. Jude Russell comes across the clear first time. Really well read there from Jude Russell. from Lachlan Brook, forcing Woking to go long down the line. Charles will chase, but Nathan Shepard once again reads it well, straight off his line. Say so the spike continuing three goals, Nathan Shepard had a pretty good game, couldn't do a lot about the goals. Now finds Kramer on the right hand side. Goma just checks back away from Maguire Drew, looks for a forward pass. Rockland Brook comes to feet. Brook under pressure, he's managed to he's lost the ball there, he wriggled out a bit of pressure but gave it away to Maguire Drew. Looks for the trialist, really, really well blocked by Jude Russell. Where you go, okay, brings it forward, switches it out to Dom Jeffries. Brook now to Roy Silla. Working very much blocking off those spaces, those passes for Brentford B. Loose ball there. We can welcome back Alan Steele once again to commentary. Just been on the T run. Alan, you probably would say that's the, the, the worst possible start for, for the team straight after the second half started. I'm not going to lie, I got caught in the queue for a cup of tea and I missed it. So I've just watched it back with Alfie. Um, and, and yeah, to, uh, it just sets you back. Uh, the, the, the team talk from Neil and Saunders was. Was, was positive and interesting we spoke about that kind of looking at the big picture point of view and, and what we build up and making sure we have a focus to the games because all right there's not points on it but actually we're looking at the, the way these boys develop and so there is a, there's a big picture to this game tonight and, and at the moment some of those things are being achieved I know I know I know it's going to sound silly when you're, when you're losing a game but you know they are doing certain things right and what we ask of them in those in some of those key moments but there's, there's big parts of this game where we're, where we're lacking <laughs> We want those types of experiences to then go and educate us as players and staff to say, right, you make a mistake, you play a bad pass, you get caught on the counter now twice, a good team's going to punish you. And, and a lot of these boys, these working lads, are good players. 
um, and, and won't just stay at this level, they will go on to play bigger and better level. So, you know, we're going to take everything we can out of this evening and, and learn as much as possible. So, yeah, look, tough start, but um, still a long way to go. And let's, let's keep an eye on the attitude of the boys because you can learn a lot from the players tonight. And certainly, heads on, don't seem to be dropping. They're encouraging each other, they're desperately trying to get back into this game, which is good to see. Too right, and do you know what? I think the, the, I mentioned about the noise that Woken had, had when they started the game. I think we'd be really keen now to listen to the boys here. You know, what, what does Jude do? What does Nico do? What does, what does Tristan do? You know, are they leading? Listen to Sheps the whole time. Um, it's really important. Really important now that we, we do this together as a group. And no matter how the rest of the game goes, we actually you know, do as much as we can to, to take all those big moments. And, and you know, it's a great header from Jude. But win those little moments, win those little battles, and, and, and do something as a group now. In terms of the chances, there's certainly not been too much between the two sides. It probably is just those kind of individual moments, individual errors that, that have cost the team. And like you say, you, you get punished at this level. Exactly. And it's actually, in, 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 a, in a weird way, enjoyable to watch because you can't replicate anything here in training. You can't do this. You can't give these boys this experience. There's nothing better than, than this Friday evening. Fireworks going off in the background, the lights on. It's, it's absolutely brilliant. So now what we have to do is, is try and find a way of you know, helping the boys through this period. Um, and and it might, not all of it will be solved this evening. Um, obviously Neil and Storms have done a lot of half-time and, and in the pre-match during the game. But you know, a lot of this will be done in training during the week. And, and that's where I think the, the professional nature of these boys comes through. That's when your analysis is so key, isn't it? And you can show the boys back exactly. That they'll, as soon as they go back, they'll watch the game and try and learn, learn to do better. Completely, and I know Alf stood alongside us here, but the time and effort that you know, he is, uh, as an analyst will spend on breaking this game down into to key moments, breaking it down from an individual perspective, and that's, a bit, you know, that's a tough line, that line's out there, and you see that, that'll get broken down, and you'll be able to turn around and say, well, do you know what, there's a reason why they've managed to kick that ball over, and we can learn from that and get better and better and better. Ultimately, what we want to do is get one of these lads here, or two of these lads here, to be uh, have an impact uh, in the first team sessions, in the first team games, uh, as soon as possible. So everything we get from tonight, we'll support them doing that. It's a good looking ball there from where you go. Looking for young Coos, but it's just cut out. Working managed to bring the ball out, but the trial is slips. I think the way the game, for me, the difference the, a lot of these guys, the advantage they get, they have the opportunity now not to have these games put on platforms where they can, you know, click on it this evening as soon as they get home or as soon as this game finishes, it'll be able for them to watch back. But also then it'll be broken down, they can analyse it, um, look at each of those moments and say, do you know what, I want to look at those two, three minutes where it's just me in possession. Then I'm going to look at those, uh, those five, six moments when it's me out of possession. What did I do? I'm going to look at those bits when I gave the ball away. What was my reaction like? And we can break it down to finite details and work on it. Uh, and it's, it's key for these boys. But yeah, you got what, 20 minutes? Let's see how this game finishes out and what else we can take from the positive. As Kramer looks to bring the ball forward. Looks for home for Daniel Oyegoke, but it's well cut out once again. Credit to Woking, they've defended very well this evening. Brentford B will look to make another change. A lot of respect to everyone at Woking this evening and, and thanks to them all. They've, um, the way they've approached the game for us is key. Um, not just the, the, the support they've got, but also the way the game's been set up, the way they've prepared the stadium, the pitch. They've done everything properly, so fair play to them. There's Reynold Hercules replaces Paris Magoma. Paris Magoma has probably been at the heart of a lot of the good things that Brentford B have done tonight. He's had a, he seemed to be everywhere at times during the game. Yeah. 75 minutes or so, game time for him. Shepard finds Silla. inside to Lachlan Brook. Hercules, of course, extended his stay with Brentford B in the summer. Good thing about Ray now, 
at some point he will impact this game. You know he's got 15 minutes with his pace, he will have an impact. So hopefully he can do so soon. Well, on the score sheet last time out, coming on as a sub against St Pantaleon. Grab the fourth of the night. It looks like a throwing quickly, but it's well read by Nico Jones. Nico Jones, you say, he's certainly developed in terms of the, the games that we've seen him play this season. Yeah, again, he's one that stands out from that kind of individual point of view. If you, you go down, you take his game, you break it up. You know, there's some unbelievable moments in there, and you can see why he's, he's had those games. Oh, that's a loose ball and the working trial as he looks to play. Look. Looks to play, Lowe's are in behind, but once again, Shepard very quick with his line, well read. Yeah, a couple of tough moments there from the lads, just giving the ball away. Um, but yeah, back to Nico, I think if you look at the time that he gets to spend and you know, working with Steve in particular and his individual stuff, um, yeah, there's a lot more to come from him, but yeah, he's a, he's a talented young man and you see why he's played, played league football already. He was joined us after the part in Oxford United in the summer. A young 19, 19 year old defender. He's working have a throw in on the far side. Jude Russell knocks it forward to young Coombs. Really well controlled by the forward but he's dispossessed as Jeffries chases. top once again, Shepard commits and he just heads the ball into the path of Jones who hooks the ball away. Good, key for Nathan there, really be on his toes, I know obviously that ball coming over a little bit longer, our oh, high line, he needs to be that, that man in behind, he's outside. Cut out by Kramer. Good, swing it around. These are the moments near. They set, they set off to so take care and possession. Keep waiting on the pass. Go. Work and try and find a space. Jeffries to where you go, okay? It's cut out well by Woking. So Woking throw. Tristan Kramer not happy about something. Really, really good defending by Kramer. Tyree Johnson was getting down the left hand side, really well blocked. And about 12 or 13 minutes to go here at the Lake Wake Community Stadium. It remains 3 0 to Woking. Set piece to defend. Interest in that gap there. No, he's not played it. It's a low ball in, beats him, calls it in the near post, but I think it's Jones there. Third first time. to keep the play forward, it's not towards the trialist, but Russell's there in the way. Hercules chases, incredible speed and work rate from Hercules there. Yeah, he, leads it, he leads the line and you can tell straight away everyone's sucked up with him and they're up on the halfway line within seconds. Good tackle from Gordon, it's fallen for Lachlan Brook on the edge of the box, he shoots with his right foot, took a deflection and it fell kindly for the Woking goalkeeper. He probably wanted that on his left foot, went with his right. What are you trying to say? <laughs> Another interesting one, Dom Jeffries, second half substitute. Have you met a player with the attitude and the work rate of Dom Jeffries? This young man is in a bit of a league of his own. 
Um, do you know what? He's, he's the type of person that would, would drive you crazy because um, he wouldn't stop. He wouldn't stop telling you what to do, how to do it. He's relentless, and do you know what? He actually fits and suits um, this team so well because he, he provides a really good kind of context to, to what happens. Um, he's a young man who came out of Newport, went and played non-league with Salisbury, you know, working down there with Steve Claridge, and then came to us. And you can see the time and effort he's spent, not only at Newport, but again with us. Um, he's got attributes of a league football player, without a shadow of a doubt. And he'll be one, talk about communication, just watch and listen to him in this game. You can learn so much, and other players learn so much, but actually, he drives training. So he replicates the standards that we expect. So a, a wonderful young man. Very engaging to talk to, Dom Jeffries. It's a really interesting story. He's talking about around the time of the pandemic, going down the park with a bag of balls on his own, working as hard as he can. Certainly earned his contract with Brentford B. Yeah, all credit to him. He won't be happy at all this evening. He won't be happy on the bench, but he definitely won't be happy with the result. And you'll see him working to the end, without a doubt. Again, testing out for the boys. More set pieces, more pressure. Also to make sure they maintain a positive attitude. We can take the corner short. Good pressure from Hercules. Nico Jones challenging in there, he's gone to ground, but manages to clear away as Hercules checks inside. It's good from Hercules, plays it to Russell. Russell did look for Jeffries, but there's too much on it. So minutes to play here in Woking. Good header by Kramer. It's certainly not been a game with lots of chances. Peter Match has run there, Dan. Good. Dan getting the experience on the bench for the Carabao Cup recently. Good to see. Yeah, brilliant. Brilliant. I think more and more players can get to that environment closer and closer they can get. All of a sudden when he does it for real and he steps off the bench, he's had that experience of being there and it sounds crazy, but the, you know, the opportunity to go away and, and, and travel with the team, be with the team, stay with the team, understand the routines, um, it just makes the environment uh, even more comfortable for him. So when he does step up and do it for real, he's, he's in the best possible place. It's interesting speaking to Ben Hoggenhall recently. He spoke about going up to train with the first team, and it's it's not necessarily talking to them, but it's actually just watching them exactly what they do. The likes of Ethan Pinnock, Ponner Shanson. It's an invaluable thing in any environment. You know, if you can be there, rubbing shoulders with the best. You know, these are Premier League football players now, and we, we've got the opportunity for these boys just to stand next to them and absorb as much as possible. So creating opportunities to do that is key. Shepard looks out to Jones, but Jones goes straight backwards to Jude Russell. Now Lock and Brook. Jeffrey Ogoku wow. switches the play. Fantastic ball, and Nico Jones has taken it in his stride. He looks for Lewis Gordon. Can he beat his man? He's gone around the outside. It's a really Go good cross. Right and Reynolds oh. Hercules is flying in there, but it's a wonderful header away from the Woking defender. Took it straight off with Raynell's head. It looked like a certain goal. The working trial is cleared away. What a ball from Daniel Ogo, by the way. Mm. Incredible crossfield pass. And the control from Nico Jones as well. Yes. Corner comes in. And it is a goal. Tristan Kramer gets his second Brentford B goal. With a header at the near post, he was unchallenged. 
Really good header from the young Frenchman and it is 3-1. There's a chance now, just to prove a point. Last few minutes, well worked set piece. Great delivery, great header. Found a lot of space in that front area. This will give him a bit of energy now, last few minutes. bringing their step now Brentford B and some of these final minutes interesting in this game keeps the fans here for a little bit longer as well <laughs> they certainly deserve to get on the score sheet tonight Brentford B they've... hasn't been too bad a performance has it there's been really really good elements to it it's just those individual errors in terms of how the goals came about and that's just stuff you work on Completely, and, and that's I think. It's 437 people here tonight. Thank you for your support, those watching at home on YouTube. It's Daniel Oigo charges down the right, checks back for Kramer. Working, win the ball back, and look down the line. Jude Russell collects. Yeah, taking a snapshot on performance, you, you look at the score and you think, okay, things haven't worked out, but actually, there's been a lot, a lot of good stuff this evening. Uh, you know, some really positive things, and again, in, in, in a way, we've learned an awful lot, and we will go on to use this game to, uh, over the upcoming days, analyse it, break it down, and, and put it into training. But I think also, the, you know, these individual moments, uh, lapses in concentration, the young lads, these things are going to happen, and I think, you know, these lads maturing and developing, these lads will. I have the opportunity to make those mistakes here and then when they are maybe 2021 and start getting opportunity more and more working at Thomas's first team group you know, by that point you start to tighten those things up you get a few cases of course young lads were able to go into it but a lot of these lads you know, they're, they're still developing so but we're, we're give, give them these opportunities tonight and uh, take their development into training Head into the final three minutes here in Surrey. Long ball forward, Nico Jones and Jude Russell challenging. It's fallen kindly for Tristan Kramer. Daniel Oyagoke drives forward down the right. Can Brentford B get another goal? Another switch of play from Daniel Oyagoke. Just found Lewis Gordon. Just managed to keep it in well. Found Dom Jeffries back to Gordon. Silla out wide to Oyogoka. Hasn't got too many options in front of him. He's gone to Vernal Hercules. Low ball in from Hercules. Young Coons wasn't too far away from it, but Mark Smith pounces on it. First touch them down, unfortunately, Dan didn't have too many options to try to create something himself. This is what we need to do now, just keep the ball away from the keeper, keep the ball out, out of their control. Good, allow us to dictate these last few minutes, try and put a bit of tempo over the last couple of minutes and maybe try and nick something. Now Jude Russell. It's a good run from Jude Russell, he's gone out to the left for Nico Jones. Jones into Jeffries. Jeffries will lay it on to Lewis Gordon. First time cross from Gordon. It's Young Coombs challenging in there, but it's well headed away by Woking. Well, you go on the edge of the box, strikes, and it took a deflection. It's gone for a Brentford B corner. Lockham look retrieves the ball, heads over to the other side to take the corner. minute left to play here. Lots of bodies in and around the goalkeeper. Ocklenbrook with the ball in. 
Fortune straight over everybody. He'll sail out for a throw in. Frustrating one lap. Yeah, it was tough lap. Just a little breakdown in communication. You could see which one he thought he was doing. And the lads didn't think the same thing. Okay, back heels finds Hercules. Hercules will come inside as a bit of space, but he's misplaced the pass for Lachlan Brook. Forward by Mark Smith. Crammer heads again. Lewis Gordon will collect the loose pass. He comes across to the Daniel Oyagoke. Not too many options for Oyagoke going forward, so he checks back to Crammer. into added time here. As Kramer comes across to Russell as the referee blows for full time and does finish working three Brentford B1. Thank you for all for joining us from home. Uh, we do appreciate your support and we hope to see you next time.